as we have already seen the implementation of constructors which used to get invoked by the time we instantiate a class to initialize the data members. We can do the same thing in one more way that is by using object initializers which will do the similar thing but in a different way. So let's see it practically how we can implement them. So here in this example, let's go for object initializer. As you can see here in the class person, I have taken three data members called age, name and gender. To initialize them, by the time you instantiate any class or with any object, you can pass the constructor as well. But when you use constructors, you may get a particular overloading at a particular time. For example, in some constructor, you will initialize all of them with a default or in some particular case you can pass the parameterized constructor as well. But there may be a situation like sometimes you want to initialize only name and gender or gender and age or some different combinations. So that particular scenario can be easily handled by the object initializer. So how to work with that? Like I create an instance called person p1 is equal to new person. So far we used to pass the parenthesis but now Rather than parenthesis, I will pass these delimiters. And now inside this, you can see I have all the different data members and you can pass them with the particular value. Like Anadi, if I want to pass only one value, I can do that as well. Or I can separate all with the comma and then like this, I can keep on assigning the values. Like this. All right, so this is how you can initialize any object by these object initializer where you can pass the named property along with the value and you can separate multiple properties or multiple data members by a comma. So you can initialize, start initializing the objects like this now.